Jones has got his head looking for a guillotine. He's attacking a guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is how technical he is. It allows him to land its... So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Beautiful strike. Look to the head, lands flush there by Jones. Well, eventually, you know he's gonna turn this defense into... Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice, but it's hit down the tip. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Jones' strike attempt there is blocked. Stuffs the tape down there. How good is he? Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. with a right. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. I mean, how many can he take? Able to land the single ground strike there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slight lean to the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No. The champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest, 49-46, 49-46, and 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC.